Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you a brand new RC car sent by Thunder Tiger. For your very own, check out the link down below. Now, Thunder Tiger is a company we've seen before. They have actually made one of the best looking robots I've ever seen, also known as Robo Hero. Now, I've actually used this robot in plenty of my videos just because I like it so much. So I'm actually quite interested to see what they do with an RC car. Now, this here is actually the Toyota Helix. It's actually a real car that they actually reproduced into an RC format, and it's actually one of the brand new RCs that they just unrolled. So I'm excited to try it out. So before we do, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. All right, so this here is our box, and as you can tell, it's actually an off-road vehicle, and it looks really cool kind of with this graphic image here. It's a 4x4 pickup truck with a 1x12 scale. It's an RTR, meaning it's ready to run, and it's a 2.4 gigahertz. Now, on this side here, it kind of shows you all the different colors it comes with. It comes in a blue color, a red color, as well as a black. The one we're reviewing today is actually the black one, just so you guys know. Uh, and then over here, it does show that it's a brushed motor with a brushed ESC, 4x4 RTR off-road. Uh, and then on here kind of showed you a little bit more specs on the actual car itself now this does say that it does have a realistic looking body to it uh, it's got a crawler style bumpers four link suspension an aluminum battery tray as well as front metal CVA shafts uh, threaded shocks with three uh, 380 motor with a waterproof ESC full bearings as well as a four-wheel drive system and drag brake so it's actually got a lot going on perfect for off-roading uh, now it kind of shows you here, this is a remote, uh, showing this uh, actual metal CVA shaft, so it actually has a good like durability as well. Uh, it's got a metal turnbuckle to it, so again, you know, a very good strong tur uh, durability to it, so it doesn't actually break that much. Uh, it's got scale sized tires with uh, actual wheels, so a very realistic looking design to it. So with that said, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside. Now it just kind of lifts off like so. And then on the top here, you actually can see the actual car itself. So it's got like a nice looking pickup truck feel to it. Uh, and then I guess you just kind of lift it up like this. And we'll just kind of put it down side right here and see what else is in here. Uh, so we got a few different things going on here. So this here looks like our instruction manual. Uh, so it is an official Toyota Helix. So it's actually an official brand. So it's not like a generic car. So it's really nice. Got some nice looking graphics in here as well. Uh, we got some tools as well as, yeah, just kind of a quick little start guide. So we'll definitely go ahead and put some vinyl on it and make it look really cool with stickers. Now this here is our car, which is actually looks like it might be zip tied in. So let's go ahead and break those loose. All right, so I just removed the actual zip ties here. So let's go ahead and take this car out. And wow, this thing looks so cool. Uh, it's got a lot of nice small details to it. Um, right away, I can tell you that uh, the headlights are chrome here. Uh, the suspension work is amazing on this thing. There's a lot going on underneath it. So you can see all that. There's a lot of different moving parts. Uh, so really cool design. Um, wow, I'm actually quite, quite impressed with this one. <laughs> uh, it's got a nice realistic feel to it. So I really like the way it looks. So let's go ahead and put down this truck for now. And let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside here. I believe this is the remote itself, so uh, let's go ahead and open that up now. So we got ourselves a nice looking charger here. This is a very straightforward charger. Uh, and then we got ourselves a remote. And it looks like there's something else in here. It looks like a CD. I'm not sure what's in here, but I can go ahead and double check for you guys and let you know. Uh, might be just like a quick start guide on how to actually use it. Uh, and then this here is a remote, very nice, cool looking remote, very uh, traditional with the, you know, the steering and the throttle response. And then you also have some actual additional controls right over here. It's got like a carbon fiber vinyl to it as well, so that's very nice. Uh, 
Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the RC car itself underneath. Now this will actually lift off the cover itself. And wow, <laughs> very cool. Uh, so we actually see a lot going on in here. Uh, so this here is it's like a very tiny battery. Uh, it's an 850mAh battery. Uh, and then here's our ESC, uh, and here's our actual motor itself. So I'm really excited to see how this thing actually drives and handles. But before we do, let's go ahead and put some stickers on our uh, actual truck itself. Alright, so we're all set and ready to go, and as you can tell with the graphics on it, it looks really cool. So let's go ahead and take it outside and give it a test drive. Alright, so we're here outside, gonna go ahead and try out this RC car. Now the way it actually works is you just go ahead and pull the throttle and it'll go forward. And then you press it back, it'll go back. In addition, the steering is just pretty simple, just like a typical RC car. But the nice thing about this car is the ability to go off-road. In which, it goes just about over anything. So with that said, let's go ahead and try a challenge. Alright, so let's go ahead and test out the actual suspension of the actual car itself. As you can tell, it does have a very nice looking suspension here, so we're going to go ahead and run it through some rocks and see how it handles. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I think it's got some good flex to it. Let's see if we can speed it up. Yeah, there we go. So it does a pretty good job in terms of actually like driving on rocks. And these are actually some pretty big rocks, so it does a pretty good job on that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and try something else. Okay, so for our next challenge here, we're going to go ahead and see if how it does over its off-terrain. You ready? Go! Yeah, it's doing pretty good. And there you have it. This thing is really cool. With that being said, back to the studio. All right, well that was actually quite some fun. Car itself looks really cool while driving. In addition, all the small details as well as all the different working mechanisms is actually really unique. I really did enjoy this and if you guys had any questions about the actual Toyota Helix from Thunder Tiger, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye bye.